Okay, everybody. Today's video is going to be making a uh, soft float hook. Now, a couple years ago, I had a video on making a, a float hook, and this was uh, kind of a, a derivative of what 311 Pope had on his channel when it was up on YouTube, and um, he used to use pair floats, and I decided to use a uh, corky uh, instead of a pair float, but the truth of the matter is this is a little bit of a bugger to make, you know, I had to drill it out with a drill bit, and, uh, and it still got beat up pretty bad by the uh, by the crab so if you watched my video uh, called big pompano rig floats you saw how easy it was to uh, to make up floats out of uh, flip-flops and I thought you know I, I think we've got a, a good purpose for these now uh, quite a bit larger than the last floats I had in the original video and I thought you know wouldn't it be nice if we could make a uh, a float hook that wouldn't get tore up by the crabs okay it's got great flotation ability and once an old timer told me that when a fish goes to a bite uh, you know they might nip at something first and, and a, a float like this is very flesh like you know if they're coming in fast they might think it's a, uh, a sand flea and the whole purpose of the, the float hook is, is it's just it's less hardware you know all you've got is this float you know if, if you look at some of my uh, rigs that I make you know I've got a float on there and I've got a bead and you know it, it's quite a bit of hardware so if you want to uh, minimize your hardware and still have flotation you've, you've got to make a float hook and that's where they became popular so and all I did with this is uh, I, I made the floats and after I made the floats um, I take and uh, skewer uh, one of these floats on one of these Sputnik sinkers, okay, and that puts a nice hole. And, and after I get it skewered, uh, all we have to do is drop a hook into it, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, let's talk a little bit about the hooks. Now, if we, uh, if we use a circle hook, it, it's just not going to work for this. This is, this is a kale hook. Now, this particular hook is uh, a uh, size 2 mustad and, uh, and that's a good size hook I like that now you could use a little bit bigger hook uh, you could use a uh, a one uh wide gap mustad if you're targeting a little bit bigger fish like black drum but I like that size 2 and keep in mind that you know don't confuse uh, a size 2 with a 2 aught a 2 odd hook is going to be huge compared to a size 2. And um, these happen to be stainless. They're not very fish friendly. You may want to go with a, a black carbon or uh, uh, even the gold hooks uh, would be pretty fish friendly too. So, But uh, getting back to uh, the, the circle hook would not work good for this application because we, uh, we wouldn't have any distance between the hook. I mean, you can see that uh, you, know, you would lose a lot of bites, and that's why we need that wide gap on the kale hook to get it done. Okay, so let's show you how easy it is to make one of these uh, float hooks. First thing you want to do is uh, skewer that float on whatever you have. Uh, I use the Sputnik. Once you get that, take that number two... Uh, kale hook and by the way it's a 37160 on the style if it's a gold it's going to be a GL if it's going to be a stainless it'll be an S and I'm not sure for the black carbon it's probably B or BC but anyways just to lubricate the end of your hook and push it through that hole that you made okay make sure that hook is all the way at the end get rid of any debris and rotate that float make sure that you've got the widest spot between your hook and the float and now once you got that just go ahead and grab your hot glue gun and you're gonna start loading it up and you know don't worry about using a lot it's gonna hold a lot better you wanna make sure that you're uh, gonna have a cone when you're done 
and also make sure that you get around the back side of that hook too. Load it up pretty good. You know, that's about it there. You know, that's a that's a nice cone shape. You might have a few hairs you're gonna have to clean up, but that's it. You know, reposition that hook if you have to by rotating that float so you got the widest gap possible. And that's it. Just let it dry and uh, you've got yourself a float hook. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our Pompano Brownie channel. And that'll do it for this video.